Nobody really likes getting ripped off. Everybody likes to get exactly what they want, the best price, perfect experience. Well, recently, we didn't have the greatest experience. And this is mainly focusing on a business partner of mine. We'll call him Mr. Parks. So really our intention of making this video is hopefully that you know the the business in question goes away from this kind of a, a methodology and we get something rectified. So really the, the company in question is Lala Jagdish Precedent Co. in Uttar Pradesh, India. More information can be found on the blog which will be in the in the description of this video. So we you know their website very nice. Looks like there's lots of good graphic design. Lots of effort put into it, lots of different, you know, links here and there and we're disqualified, thirty days guaranteed, money back, you know, this you know, all kinds of endorsements, such and such, you know. So anyways, we decided that we would buy some different pictures, some different perfumes, and one the main item was an absolute oil, which is agarwood oil, also known as oud. Oud is one of the most expensive oils in the world. So we decided not to get something too crazy, not too much, but we just wanted to get enough. So we usually got a, a, about 100 grams, which is roughly a little bit over $500. And a few others, some sandalwood and some henna. Those are a little bit less quality, a little bit less price. So anyways, we ordered, waited, and you know, so much anticipation, getting, waiting for something very, very, you know, that we like a lot. You know, we like food a lot. So, you know, lots of anticipation. You know, we uh, got together, opened it together, and you know, then we were thinking maybe he sent the wrong thing. You know, because this, this is nothing like oud, completely different. It smells like a carrier oil. And after, you know, we thought maybe you put put the wrong one in this one, and the other one is the real one. So we checked the other ones, and they were even worse. You know, the sandalwood. Somebody described it as smelling like nail polish. I don't find it that bad, but it does smell kind of like that, honestly. And the henna, obviously, we didn't pay a lot of money for it, but it, it does smell like boiled hot dog water. If, I'm sure that anybody who's ever eaten a hot dog knows exactly how that smells. And so, anyways, we said, okay, this isn't the way. This isn't what was described on your website. Please, you know, send. You know, what's what's the what should we do? Should we ship this back? He said, I'll ship you um, a pre. Or, no, actually, first he said, wait, wait about a week and it should mature because this is a fresh, ba fresh batch. So we waited. After the stipulated time, no results were found. It was the same, more or less. No, you, you, couldn't even, you couldn't even compare it to real oud. You know, even people who sell fake oud, at least it smells like something like oud. I guess that little pinch, that little kind of a barnyard, nice smell that you know oud lovers like. So anyways, so then he said, okay, well, I'll send you a new batch when it's already matured. So we waited, waited. You know, lots of delays in the replies too, and you know, just to see what was happening because it would be, you know, three or four days delay. So obviously for us, we're thinking the whole time like, are well, we gonna get ripped off? We're we gonna get ripped off. So I went on a different email account and emailed him an inquiry, and he emailed right away. You know, after which I exposed that to him, and then he said, oh well, uh, you know, tell your friends to stop emailing me and you know using bad language and this and that so anyways it kind of tricked them into into owning up to to you know playing the out to lunch game but anyways so eventually he said okay well there's a festival I'll officially ship it on Monday Monday definitely will be shipped so we said actually we just want a refund give us our money back it's st we're still within the 30 day guarantee we want a refund so after we say you know we, we want a refund such and such he asks oh well you know uh, how can I no, I'll do anything, you know, bet between us to resolve the issue. So how can I resolve the issue? Or what What else can I do? So we're just saying, you know, we want a refund. And he asks another question, like, like there's still something left. So anyways, now, you know, it's it's been quite a while. We're nearing the 30-day period. So we're starting to, you know, say, okay, well, we, we need to get this money back. So we filed a case with PayPal. We just want, honestly, we just want a resolution. It's not a pers personal grudge or anything like that, because really, we don't know these people. That's more on a business level. So, anyways, this is our issue, and we hope that you know people can browse our, the blog, and you know, uh, if anybody searches up this company, then do a little bit of research 
Obviously, if they're going to rip somebody off for $500, then there's something more to the story. Anyways, that's my two cents on the issue.